are joining in with uh, Rotorio Olympic Kiana Petaru, uh, the specialty segment where we are bringing you our very own Olympians. Today joining with, in with us, uh, we have Sri Lanka's ace shuttler and uh, the undisputed king of the Sri Lankan badminton court, Niluka Kadunaratna. Niluka, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining in with us. Uh, and uh, Niluka, uh, this is the second time uh, that you are representing Sri Lanka at the Olympics, having done so in the 2012 edition. Uh, tell us the feeling uh, and the excitement of having, getting to represent Sri Lanka in the in two Olympics. Yes, I'm really happy uh, of my achievement so far, and uh, of course, for an athlete, it's a dream come true for, for to qualify for the Olympics. I, even though this is my second time, I'll be I have been preparing myself, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it for uh, to do something really special at the Olympics this time. All right, uh, Niluka, getting to the Olympic is uh, no easy task, like you said, and it's every athlete's dream. Uh, so, do take us uh, through uh, the process and uh, the run-up to uh, the qualification. How how did it work for you? Uh, it's a lot of hard work because you know badminton is a really strenuous, strenuous game, highly physical and a mental game because you have to maintain your world ranking at a certain standard and certain you have to come up with a certain world ranking to qualify for Olympics and also. Uh, at the same time, you have to uh, train yourself. We don't have a pay, uh, off season because in badminton, world badminton doesn't have off season. We have tournaments throughout the year, and we have to participate throughout uh, tournaments throughout the year, taking part uh, at least 15 to 20 tournaments a year. So uh, it's not uh, something easy to for for an athlete to focus on yourself and focus on to the same uh, same stuff which you are which you are doing throughout the year. So uh, it is. Uh, I have been playing. Uh, Many tournaments, many international ranking tournaments uh, last season and last uh, last year. So, uh, uh, and so that's why I have I'm here today. All right, brilliant. And um, Niluka, something I think one of uh, the best moments uh, was when in 2012 in at the Olympics in the first round you managed to beat the eighth seed of the world. Um, it's not something uh, very easy. The eighth seed means that he is up there in the world rankings. So you did manage to overcome him in the first round. Tell us about that feeling. Tell us about that experience. Uh, I don't know how to put it in words because that was that was the greatest achievement uh, of of uh, of Sri Lanka badminton, and uh, that is my personal best achievement as well. And uh, it is a really proud moment for Sri Lanka and as an individual athlete for me also. And uh, it was an amazing feeling because uh, when you when you when you're able to beat a uh, beat, beat athlete who who is looking forward to win an Olympic medal in, in the first round, and uh, uh, it was amazing because uh, uh, beating Japanese number one, especially an Asian athlete, Asian badminton player who is at the top top level in the in the international badminton. So it was a really proud and a, and a happy moment for me. For sure, uh, nobody in Sri Lanka has achieved that feat of uh, beating an Asian rank player, basically a victor in the Asian circuit as well. So, uh, Niluka, now, uh, since, uh, but although you have achieved all those feats, all these feats, since 2012, uh, most of the media has been very critical of you. Although you have rep uh, replied to them with your achievements, with, uh, with your wins, with your rankings. So, do tell us how do you find inspiration to battle this out, and how do you uh, how do you react to these negative forces? Uh, basically, I don't react to these people because this, uh, some of the correspondents. I mean, they are not professional because in Sri Lanka we see the media, the, 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 the uh, how the, the how how the media behave in Sri Lanka because they are not professionalism. Uh, to my point of view, they are not professional because. Uh, to a person like me, to, to an athlete who, who dedicate, uh, who have sacrificed the whole life for the game and, and achieved so much for Sri Lanka and for myself and for the game of badminton in Sri Lanka. So it is very unfair, but uh, I don't really react to these people and I really focus on my game, I really focus on my mind and physical fitness. And, uh, and, uh, and my family has been behind me, my mother, my father and my brothers who have been helping me throughout. So because of this strength and my belief, Especially my belief uh, uh, brought me here and uh, still I'm going forward with my career as number one in Sri Lanka. There you go, an athlete who answers to all his critics with his uh, record and he has done so in uh, flying fashion. Now uh, Niluka, tell us about 
the preparation uh, to Rio 2016 and your intentions for Rio 2016? Of course, uh, uh, for me, as I have done really well at the 2012 Olympics, London Olympics, and I have a really strong faith and a, and, and a great intention that I, have, I can re do really well and uh, some, I can do something better than last time. And uh, because with the experience and with, uh, with the given second chance, of course, a person do much better. So I think, not I think, that I will really, I will do uh, something special, something better for my country uh, this time. And I have been preparing myself, I have training, I have training my, I have trained my mind and my physical fitness and my training technically, tactically, everything with my coaches, with my physical trainers and my psychiatric, everything. Because these things, some, some, of, some of the atmosphere we have in Sri Lanka is not really uh, up to the standard where uh, Japanese or the Korean or the Chinese have, but still I, I have uh, tried my level best to get that atmosphere, to create that atmosphere. And uh, because the, the the passion, because of the passion, the the passion I have for the game, and and and, and to uh, give give a, give a hope for the for the badminton fans in Sri Lanka, and and to give some kind of a motivation for the for the sport in Sri Lanka. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm really looking for, looking forward to it. So uh, let's see how it goes. Brilliant. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant thoughts uh, coming out from Niluka Karnaradna, the ace uh, sh shuttle in Sri Lanka and he will be representing us in the Olympics uh, 2016. Niluka, thank you so much for joining in with us and uh, all the very best uh, at the Olympics 2016.